Welcome to WebStyle Plus. Do you want to use AI but in your own applications for free? Do you want to create your own apps with AI for free? In this video, I will guide you how can you do that. API is application programming interface that allows different software applications to communicate with each other. It enables developers to access specific features or data from a service without needing to understand its complex internal operations. For example, ChatGPT is a service from OpenAI. If you want to use ChatGPT-like features in your own application, you will need to use API from OpenAI. Now, service providers sell their API subscriptions. OpenAI API will cost you depending on how much you use it. I hope it clears that what is API and why is it important. This video is exciting because we have a way to get the API from an AI that will not cost anything. We can use AI for free in our own application. Imagine if you are a WordPress developer or React.js developer. You can integrate AI in your own website without paying anything. You can integrate AI in your client's websites. All you have to do is to get a free API key from a provider. In our case, DeepSeek. Now, I can get the key from DeepSeek platform also, but that will cost me. To get free API key, search open router, go to their website, sign in by using a free account, agree to the terms. You need a free API key from them, so you will need an account with them. This website provides API keys for LLMs. From the top, search the model, such as DeepSeek. You will see DeepSeek AI options. Here we can see DeepSeek R1 distilled Llama 70B free, DeepSeek R1 free, DeepSeek V3 free. So you can use DeepSeek R1 for free or DeepSeek V3 for free. I will choose DeepSeek R1 free. DeepSeek R1 competes with ChatGPT. From here, click API. And by clicking this button, create API key, you can generate an API key for free and you can use it by following this code pattern. Among others, they have shown Python and TypeScript implementation of the code. TypeScript version will work for JavaScript also. Don't get confused. Use the API key and specify a model. And this function will generate response from DeepSeek R1 by using this free API. You can also use it from shell for API testing purpose. So click create API key, click create key, give it a name. And here is the key that can be used in your application to get the data from DeepSeek R1. And this is the keys page. From this page, you can edit the key and delete the key later as well. You can also view the activity for this API key. So we have got the API key. Now we can use it in our application. I'm very excited. This is opening a whole new world for me. I will send the message and get the responses from AI for free. So I will use an HTML page. For basic styling, I have used Bootstrap. I have linked Bootstrap. To convert Markdown into HTML, I have used Markd library from CDN. Response will be in Markdown format. We'll have to convert it into HTML to improve the readability. That is why I am using Markd library. I will use some CSS for the response div to make it better looking. Then for HTML, I'll have container, a heading, an input with ID user input, a button that will trigger function send message on click. And then we'll have a div with ID response. This is our HTML. So on click of a button, a function will be triggered that is send a message. Before the closing body tag, here is that async function, send a message. Inside it, let's get input and response div. Test if input is empty. If yes, throw error message. Otherwise, show loading text while data is being loaded. And then we'll use try catch block. Catch will catch the error, display the error. Inside try, we will use that fetch code from API provider. This code. So here is that code and we'll have to modify it. I will use API key here. And after this tutorial, I'm going to delete that API key. So don't use this API key. 
and even though site URL and site name are optional, but I will use it. Use site name and site URL. And then for the content, content will be input. This input. This is better. So website and website name, even though those are optional, but those can be mandatory anytime, then we will have to use this script with real domain in case they want to validate real domain before sending you response. So that should be kept in mind as well. So let's store this fetch in a const called response and use await. Then here we can use response.json here we can use console log data that will give you idea of how to get the data i know so here it is data.choices.0 message.content or no response received this question sign with period is called optional chaining operator in javascript it allows you to safely access deeply nested properties of an object without causing an error if any part of the chain is null or undefined, we are safely accessing the properties in case something changes in the future. Now all we have to do is to convert the markdown data to HTML and display it in response div. So let's see, here it is, a chatbot for free that will get the question from you and reply for free using free API. That will not cost you anything. I'm very excited. And I have enjoyed a lot while building this little chatbot. Let's try it. Capital of USA. Loading. No response received. Why? Indeed, no response received. Let's try again. And this time we have received the response. The capital of the United States of America is Washington DC, formerly known as the District of Columbia, etc. And let's ask another question. How to write hello world in JavaScript? Ask. And here is the response using console log. Console log hello world using alert. Displays a pop up dialog in browser alert hello world using document dot write. Updating HTML content. Example HTML file. Very detailed answer. Things to note. Wow. I am really, really excited. So, guys, we have created this chatbot free chatbot using free AI that will not cost you anything. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.